The fuel-injected Hemi version of the V7 is a well-mannered engine that will never overwhelm one's riding ability or its dual down to steel chassis dynamic qualities. The new six-speed transmission, however, shifts quickly and smoothly, and is a big improvement over the previous five-speed gearbox. I definitely missed the tachometer that is only available on the Milano, I would rather go without a speedometer. A red warning light starts flickering as engine revs approach rewarding heights. I ignored it since the engine responds so nicely and upshifted by air, and that seemed to work with no risk to the good health of the pistons. The seat is set at a sensible 30.3 inches and that makes the bike feel friendly to newcomers and shorter legged riders alike. The location of the footbags and the mid-height touring style handlebar are well coordinated with the seat and forward reach, resulting in riding posture that prove it very comfortable. The fact that the V73 continues to roll on by its ply tires robs the carbon dark and its siblings of their ultimate dynamic ability. Radials will get the best out of what is already a fairly well-balanced chassis that in my opinion only needs a bit less steering head angle, which is currently 26.4 degrees across the board.